think everyone wants to stay with us. You may say Nigeria is at a crossroad. Well, a lot of uh, pointers are there to that narrative with the many agitations across the country. Uh, many will say that it's a moment in history that they, uh, they need uh, urgent and critical evaluation of our past, our present, and the future. Well, restructuring is perhaps one word that has been used the most in uh, national discourse these days. An average Nigerian talks about it now. The restructuring word now becomes a very popular word. What exactly do we do with restructuring? Or what exactly does that word mean? Mr. Peter Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, joins us on the program now. Many thanks for coming on the program. Thank you, sir. Uh, you are one... Uh, uh, a, go a former governor of uh, Anambra State, and that region where you're from is uh, where you, we have heard perhaps some of the loudest agitations uh, across the country on this issue of restructuring. From the sense of your people and your own standpoint, what does this restructuring mean? So, well, before we talk about restructuring, I always say it, let's look at how we came to this junction. I'm happy when you said we are from the region where it's the loudest, which means there's other places where people are talking about. Let's look at how we came to this junction. How? For me, what you're seeing in the various agitations you're seeing across the country, with the southeast and the loudest, as you said, is a cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years. We, the leaders, have failed to deliver to the Nigerian people. The Nigerian people, in turn, have made wrong choices by choosing the wrong people as their leaders and everything, and a consequence of not having a focused and future planned leadership is that the country is failing. And when people have developed a sense of hopelessness, they agitate where marginalization is here, is here. And here is important that I analyze, whenever I talk about this failing, I talk about the economy. All these things you see revolves mainly around the economy. When you have a, a failed economy, you have a problem. Do we have a failed economy? Yes, we do. You can how look how long has it been coming? No, no, long, how... long time ago. You can say it's not today. It's not something that happened yesterday. Shall let me analyze using maybe five countries that have the same trajectory as source where you can say they have Q, they have corruption, they have military, they have this. And I talk about countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, South Korea, uh, Thailand. In 1980, Nigerian GDP is $64 billion. South Korea is 67. Thailand is about 75. Um, Malaysia is 24 point something. Actually, Thailand is 32. Is Indonesia is 78, 75. Today, 2017, our GDP is 400 billion, depending on which rate you use. Indonesia have moved from year 75. To the same 400 billion, we are, sorry, to 1 trillion. Indonesia is now 1 trillion. South Korea is now 1.3 trillion. Thailand has gone from 32 to 400 billion where we are. Malaysia has gone from 24 to 355 billion. So look at the growth that is there. If you go to Per capita income. Per capita income of Nigeria in 1980 is 870. You look at other countries. Malay South Korea is 1,700. So we are just about, they are just twice us. Today, our per capita income is 2,400. Why they are 25,000? So they've gone about how many? They've gone up, look at where they are. We used to be 50% of where they are. Now we're not even 10% of where they are. 
So the, the, the so if you could see the same thing had gone, I can show you the other countries like that. Even in reserve, Nigerian reserve, Nigerian reserve in 1980 was 10.5 billion. A foreign reserve. A foreign reserve. Indonesia, Indonesia was 6.5. South Korea was 3 billion. Malaysia was 5.5. Thailand was 3. In 19, this, now, today, our foreign reserve is 2930. Malaysia is now 120, 120. South Korea has moved from 3 to 360 billion. Indonesia has moved from 6.5 to over 100 billion. Thailand has moved from 3 to 156 billion. And you're still at that. Hmm. What, what, what do you think is what do you think is responsible for this glow, I mean, slow growth rate? Because it, you have you never had a focused and future plan leadership. Is it because you of could, it, it, you could, it, could, it, could it be that? military intervention? No, 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 in no, no, our, no, 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 no. We had military government in Indonesia. We had it in all these we had queues in Thailand and everything. But in all this, we've never had a focused leadership. If you read the Nigerian last um, uh, plan, it showed that we will, by ninth year 2000, we'll be generating 40,000 megawatts. So in year 2017, all we hear every day is, is gone to three, it's gone to four. Which other country do you hear this? People want to lie. They don't know. If you go to even Ghana, they don't know how many megawatts are being generated. It's only in this country that people talk about megawatts every day. Let me give, give, give you a classical example. Show you 1980, China's per capita income. China, let me start with their GDP. China GDP in 1980 is $189 billion. China, we were 64. So we are three, they, they, are, they are three times our GDP. 